like half a million views or something. It's one of my most popular videos. And uh, I'm taking this apart again because I uh, can uh, Sheriff on uh, Twitter contacted me and said, hey, uh, I'd love to take some dye photo shots. So if you can get the uh, dyes out of this thing, send them to me. I can do some um, gorgeous dye shots and maybe some reverse engineering of it or something like that. If you don't know Ken, I'll link him in down below. He's a vintage computer aficionado, a Poland's go Polo Guidance uh, computer, reverse engineering, die shots. It does all sorts of general vintage computer nerdery. So check it out. So yep, I'm going to open this uh, bad boy again. Um, I've got my black mat and uh, some paper towels because yeah it's filled with oil so it's going to be nasty and as per the previous video you saw how uh, the chips inside this thing the composition of the solder on these joints in here is it, it makes them so brittle that I was actually able to push just I didn't even have to heat up the chips. I simply just pushed them off. Um, but I couldn't do that with the, like the, well, the, sorry, the little uh, chip capacitors on here. The main uh, chips, they use the same solder, but they have, uh, there's just too many uh, joints under there, too many balls under there to, uh, you know, to do it by force. So I'll heat up these uh, things a little bit, lift them off, and uh, hopefully we'll get them nice and safe and sound. We can send them to Ken and we'll get some nice die shots beauty. Yes, I should use an electric screwdriver for this, but I don't think my electric screw, screwdriver has a uh, Torx. Well, there goes a washer. Yes, often it is faster uh, with low, you know, once you've got through that sticking point, just to spin than with your fingers like this. Um, it just, yeah, it's, it's actually quite quick. Yeah, if you have to do a thousand of them, it's going to be pretty fatiguing, but something like this, nah, she'll be right. Oi, just heard the uh, the suction from the, the, from, oi, there it is. I'm uh, not sure if you heard that, but uh, yeah, it's that oil. Wow. Yep, because this has a port on the side, for those who don't know. So here we go. Oh, sorry. I can actually get wider angle on my Tagano, by the way. I can actually take off. There we go, it just uses a 52 millimeter uh, macro lens, um, a, a Kenko for those playing along at home. And yeah, I can actually uh, put different magnification lenses on here. I've actually got a times uh, 10 one. This is a times four, I think, is it? Um, and yeah, I can technically get more magnification, but then it screws up the uh, the you know the uh, depth and the field of view and everything. Like it, everything's screwed up. And this will actually give it a wider angle now, so I can actually fit the whole thing in there. So that's kind of cool. But I can't get the huge zoom in range now that I got before. Um, yeah, it, it only zooms in like you know barely even halfway or something like that. So ah. And it's got all the slugs in there as well. Oh, it's going to be messy. We're going to need more paper towels. We're going to need a bigger boat. Let's flip it over because all the, all the slugs, the chips are on this top side. So all the slugs I want to stay in their locations. Oh, oh, do I have to get these out as well? I can't actually remember. Yeah, I have to get these out too, I think. Oh, there we go. They've obviously got to get to a point where the, you've got to pull them up and turn at the same time so you can get the thread to actually grip because the thread is only on the end like that. So, no whackers. We have the tools, we have the talent. Here we go, that's the frame. Now here's the problem, you got the surface tension of all the slugs, ah, uh, the slugs have come out, the slugs have come out anyway. Yeah, that was inevitable, I tried to slide them off but uh, we've got a few, got, got a few sluggies. There you go. A couple of stalwarts still, still clinging. Got a couple of Klingons. Klingons off the starboard bow, starboard bow. Whee! <laughs> oh, it's just as much fun as I remember. That is our gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. As a thing of beauty. Joy forever. Wow. All these chippies, all custom IBM, everything's custom IBM, everything. And there's some interesting comments oh, 
Um, very interesting comments in the uh, video for this where somebody used to work at the IBM factory that made these. Um, yeah, they've got some great stories to tell in the comments. So definitely check that out on the previous video. Okay, I've got a few push back in there now. Should have used some gloves. I don't know what this oil is. But uh, yeah, got my macro lens back on the Tagano. So now we can zoomy zoom zoom right in there. And if you remember the previous video, there we go, you can still see one of them there. One of these uh, one of these capacitors, and I can like I can just push these off. This one still has like there's the pads down in there. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. This is already damaged enough. But let's zoom in even more. Here we go. This is soldered. Okay. <laughs> this multi. How many pins on that? So there's 16 pins on that. Okay. It's got 16 balls. It's got a lot of balls. Yet I can, I can push that. I can push that off <laughs> without lifting any of the pads. That's how, um, uh, that's just the composition of the solder and how uh, ductile that solder, is that the right term? I, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to say brittle. Is that, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below what the correct uh, term for that is. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm able to push that off. But I wasn't able to do that, and I don't want to do that with the uh, chips. So anyway, so one of these up in the corner. That looks like a suitable candidate. I'll get a couple of them because they are, um, some of them are, uh, well, actually quite of them. A lot of them are actually different. I don't know how many actual uh, types exactly. Let's actually wick away. I don't even know if we're able to wick away the oil there. I don't even think it's like, don't even know if it's possible. I mean, I can spray some isopropyl on and maybe that'll displace it or something. I don't know. Is this a job for WD-40? Um, I, I look, I, I got no idea. Oh, those capacitors, they're just coming off. They're just, they're just flying off. Those capacitors, they're all going. Yeah, so I don't know what kind of mineral oil or whatever this is, but... Yeah, it's, uh, eh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it up, so, anyway, just wanted to get a good, a good chunk of it out, anyway. Alright, the melting point of this thing, uh, I can't remember what it was, but I'll just go, like, 350. Um, I, I know it's actually, it's much lower, but you've got the, uh, you've got the thermals of the board and everything. Get rid of those caps, bugger off, get out of the way. It's easy. It's going to be easy to chip the die too. No, nah. she ain't budging. She ain't budging. All right. So this is a wow. bit stubborn. Uh, probably because it's well, it's a sixty-plus layer. PCB essentially, so I don't know how much of uh, the ceramic, like well, the substrate is uh, absorbing. All of that heat. So anyway, I've cleaned it up a bit more. I've tried to get as much of the oil off as I can, and um, I'm going to put some put some fluxity doodah on there now. I don't know what that's going to do because we've still got oil and stuff in there. Probably shouldn't have used that applicator actually, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to up the temp. Okay, I'll go to 400. Why not? And no, I'm not really concerned about the flash point of this oil because I I've cleaned I've cleaned most of it off. Really? Okay, there we go. Oh no, no, I thought I felt it move a bit. Wow, it's one stubborn die. That's for, oh no no. See the problem with the metal. I should probably try and push the chip, but. Okay, I'm just experimenting on this one. I can damage one, it's not a problem. Because they're very brittle. But yeah, that ain't that ain't coming off. I got that to 400, full airflow, and she just ain't budging. See, this is completely experimental. I mean, when was the last time somebody tried to remove one of these? <laughs> like 1980s? No, this was sold into the 90s. Well, sorry, this is late 80s, 90s. 
Did they ever do any rework on there? Is there a rework procedure? I got no freaking idea, but wow. That ain't budging. That is not budging at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What do I do now? Just like, just keep putting flux on this bad boy? It, it's probably not even getting under there because it's probably going to be just be filled with the oil stuff underneath. So I don't even think the flux is like, it's just, it's pointless. It's not going to, it's not going to penetrate. It's not going to do anything. I can really feel that ceramic. Yeah, yeah, the ceramic's getting, the, the, the ceramic's very, uh, ceramic's hot. I'm, I'm heating up the ceramic. I think it's just, yeah, it's just not getting enough heat. Um, so, yep, well, I don't know. What do I do? Increase the temp and hope that, uh, what's this thing even capable of? 500. <laughs> Let's go to 450, shall we? There'll be a lot of people, Dave, you should have started with that to begin with. So let's just experiment on one. Oh, oh, you see it. It's something just oozed out there. No, not a sausage. Wow. That ain't budging. No, I'm cooking that sucker. I mean, if I got desperate enough, I could actually use my preheater. I could mount this under, like on my preheater, I could preheat the entire ceramic to like, you know, 100, 100, 150 degrees or something like that, and then get it off. Um, maybe that would... <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's the go. All right, going all the way. The max at my quick uh, H61 is capable of 500 C and 120 degrees. Don't try this at home, kiddies. Bit more flux on that, just for kicks. You know, like, I don't even think that's going under. I don't think it is. You can see the flux is just, it's mixing with the, it's not evaporating, that's, or, or, or it is, but the oil is, the oil's the only thing left. It's just impossible to get rid of this oil. Nah. Nope. Not careful, my uh, paper under here will catch on fire. That's just, yeah, that is crazy. So I think I've actually gone as far as I can with my uh, hot air gun, and it's just, it's just sinking, I think it's just sinking all that heat, because I can physically, I mean, this is a 60 plus, can't remember the exact count, like 62 layer, um, there's something 60 layer PCB, effectively, um, with, you know, exotic IBM technology in it, and, um, it's called a thermal conduction module, it's a TCM, a thermal conduction module, for a reason, well, it's called that because of all this, um, fancy wankery here, um, we, but, I, like, yeah, <laughs> these are designed to get the heat out, so, but, well, they have to solder these things, they, they have to reflow them, so, so I guess there's not much more I can do, apart from maybe heat the whole thing up, and in that case, I want to get, like, all the oil off, like, entirely, um, before I go heating the whole thing, oh, and it's just, it's just an absolute mess, it's terrible, Muriel, so, yeah, I really don't like my chances of, Getting this off easily, I thought, you know, oh yeah, I thought I may have to pump up the heat to get it off, but this is nuts. Wow. And it's supposed to have like a lower, I think it's a lower melting point temperature as well. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, that's, that's really quite hot. So are the pads actual vias? I don't, I don't think so. I think they're actual pads. They're on top. They're on top. All right. So we're not actually seeing through, like, yeah, you can't see through these layers. That's right. Otherwise, you'd see at least a couple of layers of uh, stuff going everywhere. So they're on top. So, you know, look, all the pads are there. All the pads are on. It's not like it's uh, V or in pad, right? So it's, it shouldn't be wicking away the heat like that. But these are thermal conduction modules. So, um, yeah, this substrate is just crazy. Anyway, that's a large number of pins. You can count those. Not Knock yourself out. But, uh... It's a tiny chip, it's a flip chip, it's a bare die, and, uh, well, wah, 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 wah. All right, I just tried to get some air duster under there, put some more flux on, I'm going to give it a masochist, I'm going to give it one more go. The oil is thermally conductive as well, got to remember that, that's its job. 
Urgh, nah, that's it's just I ain't budging. That's incredible. I know you gotta heat them all up at once, but wow, this thing must be baking. Nah, nah, I officially give up. I officially give up on that. Um, no, <laughs> that's it. Uh, well, I'm not I'm giving up for this video. Um, please leave it in the comments down below if you got any good ideas. I don't know if you worked on this stuff because I know there are viewers out there who watched me work on this stuff. Um, who who watched me that worked on this stuff in like the 80s and the 90s. And uh, yeah, let us know how do you rework one of these because it it seems to be sucking up all the heat. Should I? Uh, you know, my next uh, plan of attack would. Be, yeah, to use my preheater. I can't even remember what uh, to max temperature my preheater goes up to, but I have to heat the entire module up, right? So you'd have to leave it there for quite some time to heat up the entire module, and then you blast it with the uh, hot air, and uh, hopefully it budges. But it, it's supposed to have the lower temperature melting point solder, but it's just it's just not coming off. It, these things are not coming off. It's unbelievable. So yeah, I expected uh, expected you know a bit of a struggle, but blasted it uh, full pelt with the quick at 500 degrees and uh, uh, maximum airflow rate and uh, like for for minutes and like and this is hot like that that ceramic I can't touch it so <laughs> I I don't know it's just nuts nuts <laughs> leave it in the comments down below that's all I've got for today so I'm going to. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'll just upload this as a progress thing. Get back to you. Catch you next time.